Ross Lake has earned another spot in the record books for being the youngest U.S. woman to climb to the top of Mount Everest. The 18-year-old joined us right here in studio mm -hmm. just over a month ago. I think it was like a day before she <laughs> flew to Nepal to begin her attempt at the highest summit in the world. And she did it so fast, she's already back home in Naperville. And Lucy joins us now to tell us all about it. Welcome home. Glad you're safe. Thank you so much. It's great to be back. So you um, surpassed even your own kind of predictions of how quickly you would accomplish this. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I had no idea. I'm so. I was so, <laughs> so pleased though. I mean, I missed. I missed my family a lot. My friends and and just summer. Like I'm. It's. I'm back and it's summer. Life is good. All right. We're glad to have you back. I'm sure you're getting a lot of congratulations from all of your friends and family. But talk to us about what the toughest part was as you were climbing this, maybe some obstacles that you ran into. Did you have any issues? Yeah, I'd say the biggest, like, uh, the biggest challenge for me actually was the, more the emotional side than the physical side because it was the first mountain I did without my dad. And I was just, it was a little lonely. Like after trekking oh. up with the, with so many friends and family, they, when everyone left, it was just me and my Sherpa and my Sherpa, like, I love him. He was <laughs> an amazing Sherpa, but like not the most talkative. So it was just like me, me and him. And yeah, it was, it was tough. So I missed, I missed home a lot. And that just like, yeah, having that loneliness was the, was the hardest part for me. And you had completed uh, a previous goal of climbing to the highest peak in every state in the country. Um, I would imagine doing this summit, though, is like nothing that you had done before, right? Yeah, it was the only one it was similar to in the States was Denali. Um, I definitely say that like Denali was almost as hard as Everest. Denali is a serious mountain, um, especially when I was 13. When I tried that, that was more physically demanding than Everest was. Um, but but yeah, it was so it was a little it was comparable to that. But Everest definitely posed some challenges I'd never had before, like the technical side of going through Kumbu Icefall. That was some technical stuff I'd never done. I've never crossed a crevasse on the ladder or had to jump across one. Wow. I love how she says, oh, I was 13 when I yes. did that one. No yeah. big deal, right? <laughs> uh, so, okay, I got to ask you, what happens next? Because you've had so many goals and you've met all of them, really. So what goal do you set for yourself next? Yeah, so I want to be the youngest person to do the Explorer's Grand Slam. So that's climbing the top of each continent, the highest mountain, and then also going to the North and South Pole. So after, since I did Everest, I have, I've done five. So I have two more uh, and then the North and South Poles. So the next step is kind of, you know, raising enough money, trying to fund for that, um, and hopefully going to Mount Vincent um, to Antarctica. So I do Mount Vincent and go to the South Pole mm. this next winter. And if all this wasn't in an achievement in and of itself, you were also raising money uh, for a good cause, right? Yeah, I, I actually have an Etsy shop um, that I started and that we did a big Everest um, push uh, to raise and 100% of the profits go to safe water projects, funding for in Kenya and Uganda mostly. Oh. So that that was amazing to see. And you can go to my Etsy shop. It's called Lucy Climbs uh, if you want any any. Uh, merch from Everest. <laughs> merch, did yeah. you hear that? You are amazing, Lucy. I'm sure you're happy to be back home. What was the first thing you did when you got home? Other than hug your parents, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, I mean, at the airport, I gave them lots of hugs. So when I got actually got home, all I did was straight to the shower. <laughs> straight to the shower, <laughs> cleaned up. Uh, hey, and you have one more big uh, accomplishment, and it's a good thing that you uh, basically achieved that summit faster than expected. What's going on for you this weekend? Oh yeah, I actually have, I made it to graduation, I, which I did not think I was gonna do, so I'm so excited. Oh, well we wish you the best of mm -hmm. luck, Lucy. You are spectacular. We're, we're so glad we follow you on Instagram now, because we <laughs> like get so excited every time we see you, you know, get further along We came the into climb. the newsroom, yeah. like, did you see Lucy made? Did you see like, yeah. yeah, so oh we're so excited gosh. for you. That is so sweet, thank Good. you. Good. Congratulations. Alrighty. Welcome home and congrats on graduation as well. Thank you. All right. Other news here this afternoon. The clock is ticking 